Hey guys, Ryan from Spiker Workshop here. And it is the middle of summer, and I am upgrading the snowblower because uh, I guess I'm just that excited for winter this year. It's getting a very early head start. And uh, what I got in the works this time is an upgrade for the auger transmission in the snowblower. The, uh, the stock one uses a Traxxas differential from RC Truck, um, which works just fine, but it's kind of a pain to sell. I have to open these up, JB weld the inside gears, clean everything out, and um, put it all back together. And it's, it's becoming harder and harder and more expensive to source these, because people basically take these out of new trucks and resell them online. That's why I've been buying all these. To buy the individual parts separately, it's like really expensive. So I figured it was time to come up with something like better. So I designed this um, different transmission here. It's CNC uh, gears cut out from Delrin. It's a specific type of plastic. Uh, they use this to kind of plastic in like gears and bushings and stuff so it's like meant for this type of thing and then there's like a 3d printed case that goes around it and um, the type of gear it is it's called a face gear where the teeth are on top of the gear instead of the RC truck ones are kind of angled the uh, bevel gears but these are a lot more reliable than those um, when you line it up in here um, you don't really have to shim anything like you would like an RC truck differential. Like these types of gears only have to be aligned left and right. Bevel gears have to be aligned both left, right, and forward and backwards to, to keep that angle nicely meshed. So these are just a lot simpler. And then um, I also changed the gear ratio. This is a 3.75 to 1. That means the impeller has to turn almost four times before the auger turns once. The Traxxas diff, it was a little under three turns per one turn. So this is, it's 32% stronger. So it, it makes the impeller spin about 32% faster. And in theory, it should be able to throw snow farther. And the snow being fed into the impeller that rate is actually slowed down with this gear ratio so it should be an overall like pretty drastic improvement but I don't have snow to actually test that yet so I've been trying to get creative towards the end of this video I do um, a water test um, I'll let you guys watch that because I actually already filmed it at this point already and um, yeah you'll also notice another thing I'm trying to experiment with is a different impeller shape. The stock impeller is like this. Actually this is an upgraded impeller already. The stock one is a three bladed one. And the other day I made a video of the snowblower going through sand and this was the same impeller that I used in that sand video and it held up even though it got bound several different times. Like it's stronger than it looks. Um, I actually made this part thicker than it was on here so it should hold up pretty good and then also there's a new drive shaft that goes with this transmission it's screwed together instead of glued it's just a lot easier construction or assembly and then the the, the shaft that connects the gear to the sh drive shaft is uh, it's the same thing that I use on these here they're hex shaft and they're threaded on the end so the gear that's in there is hex shaped to lock in with that and then the screw kind of holds everything tight so the whole assembly thing is like super rigid I use the same exact um, transmission technique in the Spiker Cat and my Scorpion it's just extremely reliable there's no set screws or anything And then uh, I might end up selling these as an upgrade kit before I even get snow 
just to, it'll kind of be like an experimental thing. Um, you can see in the water part at the end of the video that it, it definitely holds up to the amount of torque that the motor can throw out. So the only unknown factor is what it will actually do in the snow, but I mean, the way it's geared and everything, it should be a, a drastic improvement. But it's it'll be sold as like an experimental thing until you know I can actually confirm it. But if you order one of those kits from me, it'll come with just the end black part here because it has a hex shape on the end now. And then it will come with all these little bits to make up the drive shaft there. And uh, here, let me quick assemble this case. So here I have the case all assembled here just to show you how nice and smooth everything spins. Yeah, and you can see the impeller spins a lot more versus that the Traxxas differential. Because, you know, as it's snow blowing, the auger is trying to feed snow into the impeller. So since the impeller is spinning faster, it should be able to keep up with how much snow is being fed into it. Because it it worked with the stock um, differential, of course, but it it needed some improvement still, you know. So nothing actually changes on the snowblower body itself. There's only was it I think three yeah three pieces or four pieces changed. This mounting stick, there's a, it's a new shape. These two parts changed, and the the white drive shaft is different. Everything else is the exact same. So here I'll install it in the blower here. So I got the snow blower back together with the new transmission in here. Um, I actually went ahead and switched back to the six-bladed impeller that has the flat side on the back just because my other snowblower um, it has that impeller on it so I wanted them to be the exact same for the the test at the end of the video uh, but something else I want to quick show you that I was working on also which will be a separate upgrade is a new pinion for the motor um, this thing is still 3D printed, but I'm using the, f the finer nozzle for these now, and I redesigned the way that they're assembled. Um, basically, there's like a hub. This hub gets screwed together on the shaft, kind of like this. And then, either the large, medium, or small gear, these all are interchangeable on this hub here. So whichever gear you want to use, um, those notches kind of line up together and then you screw I didn't drill these holes out yet but you screw the gear to these little hub pieces and then or here I'll just I'll quick assemble it and I'll show you so here's the pinion assembled you can kind of see where those notches are and um, it uses some 5 eighths by or number two sheet metal screws that run through to hold the uh, the hub on here. Sorry, my camera is not focusing very well. But I kind of I bailed on the uh, the nut trap from the old pinions. Um, just a sheet metal screw seems to hold up good enough. Um, you can see in the water video towards the end um, that. Um, the, the current pinions that actually are shipped with the kits, they would not work in the water. The pinion would just like slip off and the motor shaft would just spin inside of the pinion because moving water is like a, a significant load on the motor. So these pinions I already tested in the end of the video. Um, I recorded this after. Sorry, it's a little confusing. But these like are significantly better than the stock ones um, here let me quick put it on there and show you so here's the pinion installed it's like a direct replacement for all the old pinions 
but it uh, it's just a lot more accurate and smooth and stronger I think so um, with all these upgrades um, the next part of the video I'm gonna quick explain what I was doing um, I basically have two, two identical blowers they both have the Tamiya torque tuned motor installed. Um, I took out that brushless motor that I was running in my main one for this test. So they both have the same impeller, that flat um, six bladed one. Um, let's see. Both motors are pretty new because this second blower I only used like twice last winter. So they should be, um, they should be the exact same performance. The only difference is the new transmission, the uh, the old Traxxas diff versus my new Delrin gear one. So my test was to put them in a bucket of water and blow, well, pump I guess the water out and see which one is quicker. And. Um, yeah, it's, it's obviously not snow, so I don't know exactly how much of a, you know, difference it will actually be. But I'll let you guys watch what I filmed. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks. Also forgot to mention, both blowers in the test are using the same new uh, modified pinion. And they're using the, the 10 tooth one, which is like the medium size. Forgot to mention one more thing, is that both snowblowers have their slipper clutches like 100% tight. So basically the slipper clutch can't work. So it's like pure motor power to the water during these tests. Alright, here goes the test with the Traxxas differential. I got the bucket just up to that little brim there and I will be emptying the bucket until it's down to this line down here. You'll see it when it gets closer. Got a fully charged 7.2 LiPo. That sound you're hearing it's partially draining out from those little holes but not very much. And then I got my radio timer set right when I flick the switch on, so... Alright, here we go. Alright, here is the test with the Delrin CNC machined gearbox. Bucket is just about up to the brim there. And the same as the other test, once it gets to that line, I will turn it off. And we have the countdown timer reset. And here we go. seconds so a slight improvement at least in water I'll do a couple more tests um, tomorrow because it's almost sunset here but yeah let me know what you guys think obviously a bucket of water is not how it would perform in the snow but I think the new gearbox is at least somewhat of an improvement 
over the old one. So yeah, let me know what you guys think.